Hello my friends, this video I believe is going to be completely relatable to if not 100% of you watching this, then at least to 99.9% .9 of you watching this video. That's how potent and relatable this video is, so stick around. But the two biggest questions I get more than anything else from people all over the place is this. Number one, Tom, how are you able to do what you do and not have a job? And the second question is, Tom, how are you helping other people get results and creating freedom for themselves and getting healthier and healing and happiness and financial freedom and all these other things. How are you doing this for yourself and how are you helping other people do that for themselves at the same time? Those are the two big things I hear about all the time. And everybody wants to create more freedom for themselves. That's like 100% relatable. Everybody wants to create more freedom and everybody wants to inspire and help other people too. That's how we're hardwired. The problem is that most people aren't gonna hear a message like that. They're gonna click off. I guarantee you a lot of people already clicked off of this one. But if you're still around, then pretty cool. Stick around for the rest of it because you're probably gonna dig it a lot. So there's um, a couple major things that I do. I'm, by the way, I'm among the most forthcoming, transparent people you're ever gonna meet. I don't operate from a place of fear of loss whatsoever. So if there's something you wanna know, just ask. But anyway, there's, there's two major things. So I have a home business. That's the first thing, right? The home business. I can have all these great ideas, but if I don't have a business to leverage to create freedom and success, then it doesn't really matter. So I've got a home business. And how do I build this home business? This home business, by the way, is uh, the product that's associated with, the actual product that moves is something that helps people get healthier, feel better. It helps people, uh, re it helps people support a lifestyle that can reverse chronic diseases and chronic debt and just create overall freedom with health, healing, happiness, wealth, and create impact and inspiration for other people. It's very selfless. It's something that inspires a lot of people and moves a lot of people in positive directions. So that's the actual product. So when somebody enrolls with me, when they decide they wanna do this, I teach them to do a couple of things. I call them daily core activities. They're vital behaviors, and they're actually a lot of fun to do. But the first one is, okay, you gotta be a product of the product. This particular product, you get to get healthier. How cool is that? You get to step into wellness. You get to, if you need to lose weight, you get to lose some weight. Energy, we get to start you know, taking care of that. You get to get healthier. Whatever your goals are, we will do it. So be a product of the product. Proof that the product works. Because when you're proof, other people see it. They notice it. They ask you about it. They're inspired by it. Other people want to do it. I mean, that, that's a no-brainer. That's pretty cool. So proof the product works. You're healthier and you're inspiring other people to get healthier. And that's gonna to go towards creating your success at creating more freedom and also impacting and inspiring other people because your heart bleeds to inspire and to help other people. It does, we're all hardwired that way. Okay, so the next thing after proof the product works, I teach people how to share their story, right? Sort of like how I share my story. I was a skinny bean pole winded going up a flight of steps. That's not good at 30 years old. I did a program and 90 days later, I run up the Sears Tower 103 flights of steps as opposed to one flight. I'm no longer the skinny bean pole. I'm muscular, I'm toned, I'm lean. I've got no excess body fat. I'm flexible, I'm mobile, I'm agile. I'm healthier in every way possible in just 90 days and I've got pictures and I've got measurements, I've got the proof that it works. And my energy, the things that you can't see, like maybe my energy, things you can't see, like my skin has never looked better, people notice that. My hair grows long and it's, it shines. Uh, I've got a lot, of female, um, a lot of females on my team who wear less makeup or no makeup because their skin is glowing now. I mean, that's huge, stronger nails, all these things. It's, it's just incredible. I teach people how to share little bits and pieces of their story to create that inspiration, to organically attract who they're supposed to attract. That's the key thing, to organically attract who you're supposed to attract and not operating from a fear of loss, worried about not a, getting somebody. I don't teach anybody how to get anybody. That's what most people do who have a business and I don't, I don't do that nonsense. It's all about organic attraction and being your true or authentic self. Okay, so the next thing, I show, I show people how to invite people. So what I've 
explained to you so far is basically how to attract people to you, share your story, share other people's stories, it's pieces of it. And you do it as yourself, as your authentic self, so that people come to you starting the conversation. And they really do come to you starting the conversation. I've got so much testimonial about that from myself and as well as other people I've helped to share their story about all these people coming to them, asking them about what they're doing. So the next part is you starting the conversation or me starting the conversation with people. And the invitation, check this out. It's probably not like one you've heard before. Hey Sue, I'm starting a fitness challenge. I've already lost a couple pounds, feeling really good, seems to be working. Would you be interested? Pretty simple to send. I've had the shyest of the shyest people send that to their friends and family and they were comfortable with it. Extremely shy people, comfortable about inviting their friends and family. And you know what the results have been? Just this past one week, I have had new people enroll with me that have never built a business before. And within the first week, they got their friends and their family interested and in wanting to know more about this. And some of them have already enrolled, which means that some of these people that have enrolled within their first week have created their first residual money, their first positive impact, their first inspiration. And they've also lost a couple pounds and done some other things getting closer to their goals, both emotionally, physically, financially. And everybody wins. The people that they've impacted, themselves, their families, everybody wins. Instead of weirding out their friends and family and raising all this resistance and all these other stories that you're used to hearing about, or if you've tried a, a, a business before, odds are you probably raised a lot of resistance in people that you talked to and you were uncomfortable and you were asked to do things that you don't believe in and all this other stuff. And that's why you don't want to get back and do another one. Reconsider. I tell my people, and I'm telling you, you're not going to be asked to do something that you don't believe in 100%. You're not going to do some strategy or some technique that you don't believe in, period. I teach that. I teach that you're going to be your authentic self. You're going to pull, through personal development, we are going to pull even more of your authentic self out of you. There's going to be an awesome process of self-discovery. You're going to learn so much more about yourself that you didn't even know about yourself. And you're going to pull more of that out of you. And it's going to feel so liberating, you just won't believe it. And then people are going to notice, and that's going to go towards inspiring more people, that you get to actually be yourself and pull more of yourself out of you through really awesome personal development. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, who teaches anybody how to build a business that way? I've been actually pretty badly scolded by other business people because they see some of the stuff I put out there, like on my Facebook, for example, and they're like, that's not business appropriate, Tom. And I'm like, I gotta be me. This is me. If I gotta be somebody I'm not, I might as well just go back and get another stupid job and work in somebody else's pyramid scheme. I'm not going to do that, and I'm not going to show you how to do that either. You're going to be you, you're going to be more of you, and I love being me. I'm the only person that can be me, you're the only person that can be you. Don't rob everybody of the gift that is you. Uh, seriously, man, that is so huge. So you're going to be you, you're going to do stuff that you believe in, you're going to learn new stuff, it's going to be a learning curve, and if I give you an invitation script to send to people like the one I just cited earlier. Hey, I've, I'm starting a new fitness challenge. I've already lost a couple pounds. I feel great. Would you be interested? If that, for some reason, doesn't feel comfortable, we'll script something, craft something that you're totally comfortable with. I mean, that's one of the first things that I do with a person when, when they get in is we craft something that they're totally like, yeah, I can't wait to send this to my friends and family. And then you can be like, you know, there's a couple other people that actually started creating their first residual money, impact, inspiration, and results, and all these other things. A win-win deal for everybody, just like a, these couple people did just this last week who have never built a business before, ever. No experience. Just a new learning curve and pulling more of themselves out and being totally teachable. And that's what I'm going to close on in this particular video, as hopefully I pique your interest, is that um, this is very much a business for the humble. The egocentric, I see it all the time. They never make it because they make it all about themselves. They hold negative energy towards money. They make excuses. All those things come from a place of ego. It's self-serving. None of those things, uh, making statements from places of scarcity, um, all those things, excuses, scarcity, uh, all those things come from a place of ego. 
They do not do anything to serve anybody outside of yourself or yourself for that matter. It's self-sabotaging to have excuses, hold negative energy towards money, to talk down to people, all these things. The ones that make it here are the ones that are humble, they're teachable, they push past their excuses, they draw lines in the sand, they're corrected, they're recorrected, I'm corrected, I'm recorrected, I love learning. And when I'm learning from somebody who knows more than me, my mouth is shut and I'm taking notes and I'm being the best student that I can be so that I can be the best teacher that I can be. I am the best student, I'm dedicated to being the best student I could ever possibly be without interjecting with my, my own ego or, or any of that nonsense so that I can be better equipped to serve you and create more positive impact. That's what I mean by this is a business that is not for the egocentric, it is a business for the humble. The business for, you know, the prideful will be torn down, the humble will be lifted up. Big ego, little bank account. Small ego, big bank account. And a person with a small ego and a big bank account, that money is going to be put to work to do something awesome because money at the end of the day is something that you can use to heal or pollute the planet. And God knows there's too many people with a lot of money that are polluting the planet and everybody knows that. So be one of those few people that has a small ego, big blooming, growing bank account and do your part to join us in healing the planet and helping people and doing something really cool and amazing with it. That's what I do. That's what you can do too. So this is a business for the humble not the prideful. <sighs> I hope I made that point totally clear. All right, I am looking forward to those of you who want to connect with me and find out more about what it is that I'm doing. Um, all right, last note that I will close on is going to, just, just so you know, my standing in this. I got into this in August of 2007 after saying no for three months because I didn't believe I could do it. And I was skeptical, that word that everybody just so loosely throws around. It's true, that that was me. I had excuses. I had a terrible belief system in my brain, but I drew a line in the sand, started thinking differently. The freedom of the mind opened up and all my other freedoms followed. So after I did say yes and I enrolled, I got my butt to work right away in my spare time so it didn't interfere with anything else I had going on in my very busy life. And in my spare time, two and a half years later, I created that pivotal moment where I fired my boss. Called off the job search forever is what that meant for me because I never found work again. But I fired my boss, and a few months after that, I bought a house in cash, no mortgage, if you can believe that. 32 years old, I had a house in cash, no mortgage. A few years after that, I decided, okay, I'm making all this money. I need to put more of a tour to help other people. So then I got into this real estate investment company that I started, bought my first five properties, multifamily buildings, within a year and a half, all funded for by this business. And I focus on lower to middle income families beautiful brand new places for them to live totally clean quality without taking food from their table and without taking away their ability to pay their bills and, and provide nourishment for their families really cool thing makes me feel good they're happy i don't have you know high turnover at all they love where they live it's it's really awesome gratifying everybody wins from that deal and it's all funded for by this business and i was able to grow it so fast because i built this business first and i take out zero distributions from that real estate business zero it all rolls back over and into itself and it's all funded for by this business. And this business also funds my lifestyle and everything else I wanna do and I'm able to, to give to like the Gerson Therapy and, um, the, and, and uh, the King's Ransom Foundation where they do all kinds of things like feed starving kids, take care of uh, kids who have been orphaned, the elderly whose kids have forsaken them and they rescue kids from the sex slave uh, trade operations in the world. Wonderful things I can donate to and all these wonderful causes, all right? So that's my background and I also came into this uh, with no job, no income, couldn't even claim anything on my taxes because I had nothing. And I got into this. So if I can do it, you can do it. Um, in school, I was in special ed. I barely passed with C's and D's. I was held back in the first grade. I rode the short bus. I wasn't bright. You know, I was, uh, uh, I guess, you know, uh, educably retarded, I think, is the label. But I didn't get that memo that I was. But I got poor. I did poorly in school. No business background whatsoever. I got into this, got my butt to work, took on the learning curve, eventually became humble and, and a great student so I could learn and, and, and do this. So if I can do it, you can do it. Connect with me, fireyourboss.xyz, not .com. Fireyourboss.xyz is my website. Dig around. I look forward to connecting with you who write me 
and we're going to do something organic and when it's organic it's going to be wonderful and you're going to create freedom and impact and you're going to feel amazing i'll talk to you soon thanks for watching